got that song in my head, you know, the Paul Anker song, and it's like, regrets, I've had a few, but then again, too few to mention. Yeah, okay, so you probably know it as a Frank Sinatra song, but I'm just not his greatest fan, so I don't want to give him too much credit, but yes, he did make it famous. Okay, um, regrets, do I have any? I sometimes look around at dismal grey Vancouver and wonder whether I regret coming here, and actually I don't. The problem with it is just that it suits being sunny and hot, like that's when it's at its best, it's a great place to be. But most of the time, it's overcast and grey and dismal, and some cities suit that. London, Christchurch, Vancouver doesn't. It's out of step with itself. It's a bit strange. Um, okay, so my biggest regret in life is a couple of years ago, I went to see a Britney Spears concert, and yeah, that's not the regret. I haven't got there yet. Keep listening. I love Britney and it was great. Came out of that concert just feeling on top of it all and there were hundreds of thousands of us pouring out of the stadium just going, wow, that was amazing. And we squeezed into this train and um, yeah, so I'm sitting there, train carriage, surrounded by a lot of other people high on Britney and I had this impulse to start singing Baby One More Time because I thought that if I did, everyone around me would join in, we'd have this sing-along and it would just be a sensational moment that would bring us all together and we would feel the warmth of mankind and we'd remember that for the rest of our lives. And I didn't do it. Yeah. I've been looking for an opportunity to start a Britney Spears sing-along on a train carriage ever since and the opportunity has not arisen. It's very sad. That is my greatest regret.